I'm most worried about in this water is crocodiles. You've got to keep a cool head. Don't panic. Just keep battling on. I feel better now. Back into the cesspit. Panama, Central America. I'm going to be dropped onto the legendary Camino Real Trail. The trail itself is over 400 years old and is fast becoming a musty destination for hardcore trekkers. But if you get lost out here, you're unlikely to make it back in one piece. Okay, go there. rainy season in Panama. Downpours come with no warning, turning the forest floor into a brown soup. And this thunderstorm isn't making me feel any better. This is why this place is so hard to navigate and really which way to go is a bit of a lottery. No, this is, this is doubling back, 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 back. Here we go, here it is again. And it's so hard to keep going in a straight line. It gives you a perspective of just how hard a job those early Spanish explorers had trying to make their way through this. Keep up to the the city. Right. And in the jungle, even the vegetation can be a killer. Oh, this is one tree, look, you don't want to reach for this one. Look at all those spikes. And this is called a black palm. Watch out for it. These spikes will slash your hands, and the water dripping off them is a lethal cocktail of bacteria. Wounds out here turn septic in hours. But not everything is your enemy. This plant here can actually really help me. Uh, it's called the hombre grande, which means uh, the big man or the strong man. And this is actually what the indigenous tribes will use. And what they do is break off this and break it off and they chew it, and what it does, it actually alleviates the lactic acid buildup that you get in your muscles, so it means you go further and you can go faster. It's just what I need at the moment. Locals believe it can cure diarrhea and malaria, both big problems out here. Oh, it tastes really bitter though. Hey, turn this guy up. Wow, you got it. Let's pull him off here. <laughs> Check this out, this is a this is a long horned beetle. And a little bit is holding down the bottom there. See him around this way. Uh, but look at those pincers on. Look at the pincers on that. And these are so strong, these can actually strip bark off a tree. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat him. I don't wanna take the head. Let's cut that off. Too big here. And then the rest of this. Gosh, like a big prawn that's been sitting around for weeks. Just all shell and rotting gut. Not particularly appetizing, but it's good protein. And I'm gonna need all the strength I can to tackle this hellhole. Everything about it is out to get you. Whoa, check these out. I reckon these are some of the old Spanish viper pits. And look, yeah, it's like a giant skylight all the way through the rock. And then down, there's a ledge there, and then down to the river. It's just see how far that is. Many unlucky treasure hunters plunge to their death in these. Whoa! That's much further than I thought, actually. That must be 50, at least 50 foot. It's a moment of truth. I've got to give it a go. Bats. 
going to check my head actually for bites because more than likely uh, those are vampire bats and what they do is bite you and inject this like anticoagulant that means you just keep bleeding and I actually know a guy in Panama who was out sleeping in the jungle and when he woke up in the morning his head was just streaming with blood and he, he'd been bitten during the night but didn't even know about it. After the adrenaline trip through the viper pit, I need to replace some lost energy. But avoid eating anything from still water. It's likely to be contaminated. Here you go. A couple of snails. Uh, but these are clean and they're good to eat. And actually hawks will hunt for these and eat them. They're basically just a mussel and all edible. Put them out. like a giant cold bogey. <laughs> After a pretty novel main course, it's time for jungle dessert. This is Canna Agria, and when you're living and eating in the jungle, this is a really useful plant. And the tribes around here will use this, and what you do is just strip it off, all the hairy out of it, and it looks a little bit like uh, rhubarb, but what it does when you eat this, it actually helps cleanse uh, you're in size of any parasites. And it tastes like, you know, just, just got clean and fresh, you know, a little bit zingy, but really good for you, for your inside. That could well be the trail. Up to my waist and all of this stinking mud in here. Look, it's all like all like this. Every step feels like you're trapped in setting cement. But by twisting, instead of pulling my foot out, it stops the mud sucking me back in. Like each step is hard work in it. The other thing in here is just the sand flies. And what I can do is just use some of this mud I reach down for it and use this and just like put it. Stop the sand flies. <laughs> sand flies can give you leash myoniasis, a gruesome flesh eating disease, and it's agony. It eats away at the soft tissue, your nose, mouth, and limbs. It's great just to get out of the water. Just a couple of minutes break is a real morale booster in this hellhole. So nice to be out of all of that gunk and gloop and water. Let's get out of this place. After hours and hours of constant struggle, hitting this beach, is heaven. Oh, let's try and get this guy. That's a land crab. Look at the size of that claw. Let's put him out of his misery and kill this. And these are meant to be a bit of a delicacy in Panama. Let's see what they're like. Eating any raw flesh in this place is dancing with the devil. The mangroves are alive with bugs and parasites, which means you can get anything from dysentery oh. to liver failure. God, <clears throat> man, that tastes awful. <clears throat> oh, it's like foul. Tell you what, and keep their delicacies aside. Getting through the mangrove means safety can't be far away. If you keep heading inland, you'll eventually find the Pan American Highway that runs a whole length of Panama. Head north away from the shore and you can't miss it. 